So, um, another thing I really liked is, um, well, this was the sort of the one thing that told me it was true, was after I had started believing the things I was reading, believing what Islam taught, I prayed, and it wasn't in, like, the ritual prayer, I prayed, and I actually felt like there was a God. I actually felt like I was connected to something, like there was, God was listening to me, and in Christianity, I was taught, you know, you have to pray all the time. You pray to Jesus, you pray to God, and you're supposed to feel this connection. And I never felt that connection. I never felt like anyone was there. I never felt like, you know, Jesus was there. Um, like, apparently, like everyone was supposed to and like everyone else was feeling. So I thought, like, I was the weird one. I was incapable of feeling that, or I was being rejected or something. And so... Um, you know, after feeling that, it was sort of like, there's no way that it could be wrong, there's no way that I couldn't, you know, I, after that I, like, I had to convert. But I was always hesitant of doing so because I thought I would be bad at it, I thought I wouldn't know what I was doing, I, which sometimes I still don't know what I'm doing, but I thought that I wouldn't be able to do it. And so I wanted, I guess, I wanted to wait until I thought I could be a good Muslim before converting. Um, but one night I couldn't sleep and I did end up saying shahada to myself. I, even, I know I have to do it like in a congregation in front of witnesses or whatever. Um, but to me that's more of like a ritual almost. Um, so that night that I said shahada alone was sort of, to me, my official, you know, a personal, personally to me, that was my official conversion. And that's when I first started considering myself Muslim, when I first started practicing. So, um, actually, last Thursday, this past Thursday, was, um, marked three months since I had converted. So, I mean, it's, Looking back on it, it was like, obviously, I think it's the best decision that I've ever made. I'm very happy with it. Um, I don't know, it doesn't seem like it's been that long. But another problem is um, with my parents. My parents, you know, like I said, my grandparents, I live with my grandparents now. And like I said, strict evangelical Christians. And I know telling them would upset them. Um... And I don't really want to deal with that right now. I want to. And I've gotten advice from other Muslims I've talked to. And their advice is to wait until after I turn 18 or wait a little while longer. So that way they can see that, you know, I haven't changed for the worse since I converted. They have more time to look back on. And, you know, once I turn 18, maybe they won't think of me as being such a child. So they won't think of it as an irrational decision, um, you know, so that hopefully they'll see that I actually thought about it and I thought it through and I know what I'm doing. An interesting thing that happened um, about a month ago, uh, we were, I don't even know how we got into the conversation, but I was talking with my mother, my grandmother, sorry, about Islam and what they believe and um, she was under the impression that Muslims worshipped Muhammad and didn't believe in God really and didn't believe in Jesus at all. So I corrected her on those things. I almost slipped up and said we instead of, you know, they. We as in Muslims. Couldn't really say that around her. Um, so I talked to her about it and she surprised me by asking, you know, she asked me, so are you thinking about converting? And I panicked and I said no because, well, that wasn't a lie because I had already converted. And I said no, but I asked her what she would do if I did, and I asked her if she would kick me out of the house because that's, up until then, that's what I thought they would do. And she said, no, I wouldn't kick you out of the house, but you would break my heart. So that's definitely something I want to wait on. Um, so when I say, like, I can't wear hijab, I can't be open about certain things, that's why. It's because my parents. Um, but I met a lot of good made a lot of good friends in the Muslim community here and you know they're all willing to help to do whatever they can. Um, one of my girlfriends 
said that she would like to be there, you're, she would be there if I wanted her to come with me to tell my parents or whatever, and she would be there for me. So, um, most of my friends know about my conversion. In fact, all of my friends know about my conversion and all seem to be fine with it. Some are kind of weirded out by it. Some are kind of surprised. Um, my best friend has told me, you know, she wants to learn all along with me. She wants to know all there is to know because, you know, that's my religion and she wants to know more about it. Um, so that was nice. I appreciated that. That meant a lot to me. So I think that's about it. That's the story of my conversion or reversion, whatever you want to say. Um, I can't really think of anything else to go along with that story, but I'm happy. Best decision I've ever made. And...